change the alternator on this BMW 328F series. Uh, currently, the alternator is going bad. So I pretty much changed the, what's it called? The well filter gasket, cause it was leaking oil onto it. So pretty much that pretty much shorted that out real quick. So gonna go ahead and um, pretty much take that out, replace it with this Denso one. So pretty much an OEM replacement, uh, it's a 210 amp one. So it's also the 210 amp one. Luckily they have the serial number on the side. So you could go ahead and see exactly which one you have when you're going to replace your car. So this is the unboxing of the alternator. So come with some instructions. Sealer. And yeah, looks pretty brand new. So yeah, that's all that's included into it. So I didn't have to send in any cores or nothing. It came straight to me from Complex. So if you want one, you can just go ahead and order it from the site. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and go to the back and disconnect the negative cable. So. I already took that off to the side. So let's pretty much turn clip and to the side. And over here in the corner, you just loosen that and pop it off. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and pretty much we could leave this stuff in the way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect this off and disconnect this holes, move it out the way so it can slide out easier. And then go ahead and remove this top piece right here. So pretty much all you gotta do is unclip these, um, lift these off and then pull it right off. So I just pretty much used a flathead and just went inside here and just go pop, pop, pop these off. So one, two, and this one over here. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do now is go ahead and loosen this clamp right here. Yep, here we go, see it better right here. Loosen that up. Now we should be able to, be able to pull this right off right after disconnecting this uh, sensor right here. So I went ahead and loosened the connector right here, loosen the sensor move this wire thingy out the way and disconnected the tabs right here which you can see one two three and was able to move the whole air box piece over here so i just swung it over here let it sit and now you have like better access to go ahead and see the bolts that we need to go ahead and loosen but before we do that we're just gonna have to go ahead and loosen the tension on the <laughs> tensioner to get the belt off the alternator. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and replace your tensioner and your belt and all that good stuff while you're there. So this one was already done because when I did the oil filter housing gasket, oil was on there. So I went ahead and changed all that out like two months ago. All right, so once the air box out, I'm gonna go ahead and also remove this connector right here just to take out this little pipe right here. First of all, I really don't want nothing to fall down into it and all that stuff. And also it gives me a little bit more clearance. You don't have to remove it, but I just want to make it as pain-free as possible. Okay, so once it's loosened, you could just take this, uh, unclip this off of it. And I just set it over to the side. So now we got a full access to the tensioner bolt. Okay, so here's a tensioner bolt and it's a 16. So I'm just going to give it a 16 millimeter socket with a long extension. If you don't have a long extension like this, so this is what I'm gonna use. Like, it's pretty long, give me a lot of leverage and easily take it off. So if you don't have that, you can just easily come and uh, use one of these, like the back of a jack handle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that 16 and pull it off a little bit and then just take it off the alternator, this piece right here. And just for clarification, you're going to the right, like so. So see how the belt just loosened up? So do that and then just go ahead and take that piece off up there at the top, this one. So what we're gonna do is with this connector right here, uh, it's a little piece at the side, on the right hand side, you push down on it and it slides right out like so. So you see this little tab? So you just push down on it like so, down and it pulls right out. So it's pretty much just one single wire going to the alternator. So what comes next is we get a 13 millimeter. I just put an extension on it 
and as I said make sure that negative cable is disconnected on the battery and go ahead and just loosen this up so once that's off I could go on to start removing the alternator all right so the bolt is off I went ahead and moved this out the way and I put the bolt on right here just so I don't lose it and yeah all the connections are disconnected off the alternator so all we have is two more bolts left to go and the alternator could slide right out so we're now ready to go ahead and remove the alternator so the bolts we're going to need to remove is this one right here and i'm fitting here with my finger let me use my pointer finger so yeah this finger right here and down here on the knee you're going to see a bolt right directly behind this tensioner pulley right here so usually what you could do is take the tensioner off and give you access but since the tension on this is so like i'm doing this with one hand so i'm just going to use one hand move it out the way and unscrew it with the e12 all right now you can see that the bolt bottom bolt is loose so it's this one right here behind the pulley so remember i just went ahead and just moved this out the way and went ahead and just screwed it off so up here up top too it's also removed so that one right here make sure to remember that top one is the shortest one bottom one is the longest one all right so before i go ahead and just pull this out so it's loose right now as you can see so i went ahead and just squeeze down on here pop this off and then i'm gonna move it out the way so it has enough space to like uh pull out so what you're gonna do is stick one hand right here hold on to the front hub piece and put another hand on the other part and just pull straight out as you can see empty space and as you can see i just tucked that little piece that was hanging over here and tuck its wire over to there also so this is the old one out so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the opposite drop this one right in and do everything reverse and that's it